Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Connie Sullivan, president of the Palos Verdes Democrats. Um, the very first thing I'd like to do is have our board members raise their uh, virtual hands so everybody can see who you are because Casey, please raise your virtual hand. Okay, or that hand, either one, right? Because our Al, you, Al's not raising, there he is, okay. All right, I just wanted everybody to know who our board members are um, because uh, they do a lot of work and I want them to be recognized for that. Uh, we have two elected or former elected officials um, who have joined us. I see Harold Williams from the West Basin Water District. Hi, Harold. And we have Keiju, former library trustee and current um, art jury. I don't know if they're trustees, what they're called um, for Palos Verdes Estate. So- No, not art jury. You're not? No, no. I'm a member of the board of directors of the Palos Verdes Homes Association. Very Homes different. Is Homes Association. Oh, here I always thought I could complain to you about my roofing material, but I can't. <laughs> the art jury is, part of the Homes Association, but I'm on the policy board, which is the board of directors. Right, Homes Association, right, exactly. I got that wrong. Okay, um, and then um, I would like to thank, uh, we can look at the, um, the picnic picture now, Reggie. Uh, Anita Vaccaro and her entire crew for our great annual picnic that we had last time, I think, um, it was another success, and um, we Anita really outdid herself. Uh, we had bubbles, and we had music, and it was just quite a wonderful event. If, if you missed it, we'll do it again next year, and you don't want to miss it next year. Um, I have an announcement about our membership chair. Right now, uh, we have one uh, board uh, position that is unfilled. And that is our membership chair. If you're interested in fulfilling that, please um, put a note in a chat or you can email us through our website or you can email me at pvedems at gmail.com. The other announcement that I have is that uh, next Sunday, August 28th, the 66th Assembly District Breakfast at Mimi's at 10 a.m. We'll be having that. Please join us if you can. We have a lot of fun. So next is um, our preview of our upcoming meetings. Uh, September 18th, we're going to have a panel about what's going on in our Palos Verdes School District. And it's not pretty, that's a hint. Uh, we have a very fraught and ugly upcoming election um, in November. Some of the other school districts got lucky. Uh, Torrance, they're not having an election, only the incumbents filed. Same with Hermosa Beach, and they were both expecting to have uh, challengers, but there are a lot of challengers in this race, and they're primarily of the anti-masking uh, group that's very vocal and very organized. In October, uh, we're going to have an analysis of the November ba ballot propositions, and the League of Women Voters will be doing that. Uh, they do that really well, and uh, they will be doing that again. And in November, I believe we're having something on national security, a totally different sort of program for us. So uh, without any more, taking any more time, because, oh, yes, thank you for that slide. Our membership dues are now due. You can go to our website and, um, and find out how to do it. You can either download a uh, paper-based application and fill it out and send it in with your payment, or you can do everything online if you go to pvpdemocrats.org slash membership. Now, um, there's something I forgot to do at the beginning of the meeting that I'm going to try to remember at the beginning of every meeting, and that's to ask and see if there are any new people who have joined us. Is there anybody here who's new to the Palos Verdes Democrats, and do you want to say hello? Anybody? Anybody? I guess not. Next question. Um, do we have any candidates for office in, in, our, in attendance today? Anybody? 
I guess not. Okay. So now I can pass it back to, I think Reggie's going to talk about our new uh, activism action tab, right? Take action tab on our website quickly. Well, I, I see that um, Carol joined us. So I just wanted to, um, let me just introduce it. Um, so one of the things that um, Connie did when coming on as president this, this year, this fiscal year, was establish a committee for activism. And, and we now have a committee chair, um, that's Carol Schwartz. And Carol put together a, um, a list of, of things that you can do. Um, and I think we'll be um, trying to make this a, um, an ongoing effort to keep people up to date on, on opportunities for, for making a difference. And, and I was, you know, in, in line with what Connie said, I think, um, you know, it wasn't long ago that um, people were pretty sure that we were going to lose both the House and the Senate. And now it looks um, very much not like that. So part of that is, is this activism. So, so Carol, are you, are you on? Do you want to say something about this, this page? This is on the, on the website, by the way, so you can get to it. Um, either from, there's actually um, a, a widget on the homepage, but also you can get there from the take action and then, and then this page. Um, thank you, Reggie. You did a great job uh, posting that onto the website. I wanna thank you. And I wanna say to everybody, after hearing them talking about the Supreme Court today, I hope this will motivate people to get involved because if we all do our own little bit, we can make a huge difference and, and really move mountains. And um, I may have mentioned this at another time, but we're focusing on Jay Chin's campaign. We want to flip, get Michelle Steele out of the U.S. Senate and get uh, out of the U.S. Um, House of Representatives and get somebody more in line with our values. And so we are encouraging people to canvas for Jay Chin, as well as we'll be in September starting a phone bank and we'll have a mobilized link for people to sign up on. And you know, for people who are uncomfortable with either phone banking or canvassing, um, vote forward is a really good website. You can get letters and write letters. And when we had our picnic, a gentleman came up to me to let me know that he and his wife, um, as of the weekend we had our picnic, had done a thousand letters for Vote Forward. And so it's something easy you can do from home, it takes about two to three minutes a letter. And there's a link to the website. And if you wanna do it in person, with people. Um, every other Sunday, Swing Left hosts um, at you know the Torrance Airport a um, meeting where they do the vote forward letters so that you can do it with other like-minded individuals. And I understand in September, or October, they're going to start doing it weekly as opposed to every other week. Um, and if anybody has any questions, please, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. And uh, another really important election is Christy Smith. She lost to Mike Garcia by like 322 votes. If we can get out more Democratic voters, we can see another Democratic seat in the House of Representatives. So I just wanna thank you all for listening to my pitch. Thank and, you, Reggie. And we'll be, we'll be putting um, Carol's email address on this page. It's not on there yet, but, but you can also just um, drop a note to the, um, the PV Dems um, uh, email address. Right. Okay, I think that wraps up our meeting for today. Thank you all for attending. I think the UC Irvine, uh, while they did it, their, while their review they did in a different format, which was a little bit harder for us to insert our comments, I do think it was very interesting. I thought the speakers were all pretty compelling this time and, and clear at uh, explaining and um, thought it was a really good one. So I hope you feel the same way. Thank you for coming and we'll see you in a month where we will talk about the Palos Verde School Board races. Thank you. Thank you.